Hello children today we learn the 8th chapter in science the name of the chapter is adaptations in animals adaptations are the modifications found in animals which will help the animal to live in its place at the end of this chapter we'll be able to explain that different habitats habitat means it is a place where the plant or animal lives on the earth have different conditions explain how animals living in different habitats are adapted to the conditions there explain that when conditions are not suitable some animals hibernate or migrate well, let us answer this look at the places shown in the pictures so these two one is desert and other one is aquatic system means you can uh, consider this as an example of a lake a pond even it can be ocean sea etc can you name some plants and animals living in each of these places the animal living in desert a common example is a camel even you can give example of lizard uh, like certain variety of rat especially kangaroo rat they are actually found in a desert even certain variety of snake also lives in desert whereas if you consider the example for plants in desert cactus very common type of plant Okay, there are different varieties of cactus that is found in desert. Then, in aquatic system, in water. So, there are many varieties of fishes, so which are actually found in water. Even there are many aquatic plants, including algae. Algae you might have seen in pond, somewhat greenish color, it will be floating on the water. water. So, that is like one variety of algae. Okay, like that, there are many varieties of algae found in found in aquatic system do you think an animal living in a very cold region can live in a region with a hotter climate no the animal that is living in a very cold region cannot live in a hotter place because the animal that is found to live like that is living in a cold region will have certain modifications so that it can adjust very well to live in cold place for example polar bear it has got a thick fur it has got a thick layer of fat below its skin so that it can live easily so in cold climate suppose the same polar bear if it is left in the hotter climate as it is having very thick layer of fat below the skin even it has got thick fur so it's very difficult for the polar bear to adjust to the hotter climate cannot now what is a habitat like plants animals are also found all over the world so similar to plants animals are also found all over the world they live in the deepest oceans and on the highest mountains they are found in the hottest deserts as well as very cold places similar to plants animals are also found in deepest part of ocean even the top of the mountains even they are also found in very hot place like desert even in very cold places the surroundings are the environment in which an animal or plant lives is called habitat okay habitat means it is a surrounding or environment in which the animal or plant lives so that is called habitat so in a very simple way the place in which the animal or plant lives so that is called as habitat okay what is our habitat our habitat is land we live on land okay then you already know that plants and animals living in different surroundings are adapted to surviving in their surroundings the plants or animals which live in their habitat means in which place they live so they have adapted to survive in like to their surroundings so if there is any changes in their surrounding so those animals are actually adopted means they are adjusted to live in that particular area in these two pictures in this picture you can see grassland with zebras and antelopes these are zebras then antelope one variety of deer then so rainforest uh, like you can see so in the rainforest okay you can see one leopard like animal which is called as jaguar adaptation to habitat the earth has many habitats or planet earth has different types of places for the organisms to live there are cold mountains icy cold polar regions open grasslands wet and thick rainforests hot and dry deserts rivers and salty oceans 
So these are the different variety of places found on earth for the organisms to live. The living conditions in these habitats are very different from each other. The living conditions means the conditions for the organism to live in each of these areas are different. But animals live in every one of them because they are adopted to their surroundings. Okay, Animals they are found in all these different habitats. Cold mountain, icy cold polar region, open grassland, wet and thick rainforest, hot and dry desert, river, salty oceans. In all these conditions animals will live. So they get adjusted or they are adopted to their surroundings to live. Animals that live on land. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. The animals which are live on land are called terrestrial. Okay, terrestrial means don't think like it is on your house terrace. Here terrestrial means which live on land. Their bodies are suited to living on land. The animals which are found to live on land, their body is suited. It is adjusted to live on land. They breathe with the help of lungs and other organs. Especially the animals which are found to live on land. So their main respiratory structure is lungs. So they breathe with the help of lungs. Even there are few other organs which helps in that. Most of them have legs which help them to move. To find the food or protect themselves. See most of the animals contain legs. So with the help of them, so with the help of legs, these animals can walk or run or move on the land. And they can find the food, even they can protect themselves. Their senses help them to look for food and shelter and to escape from enemies. Especially these animals also have sense organs which will help them to look for food. So mainly in search of food. So that is being helped by the sense organs. Even uh, to look for shelter. Shelter means the place where they can rest. Even the shelter is a place so where they can get protected also from enemies. Even to escape from enemies. So all these uh, like uh, work is done by the animal with the help of sense organs. In the icy polar regions, in the icy polar regions, animals have to face harsh cold conditions, especially in winter. So, especially in the polar region, animals they they need to face harsh cold conditions, especially in winter. It will be very cold, so they should be ready to face and live in such areas. The polar bear is adopted to living in these conditions. Polar bear is one animal which is adjusted very well to live in these conditions. It has a thick coat of fur. It has got a very thick coat of fur and a layer of fat under its skin. So even it has got a thick layer of fat below its skin which protects it from cold. Thick coat of fur as well as layer of fat under its skin will give protection for the polar bear from cold. Some penguins huddle to keep warm. So some variety of penguins they huddle. Huddle means they stand close together in a group so that they get protection from the cold. Deserts like the Sahara Desert are very hot during day but become cold at night. So especially desert for example Sahara Desert. So are way Desert will be very hot during day but becomes very cold at night. Again the animals living in desert should be able to bear very hot condition during day as well as to bear cold at night. Animals living there are adopted to these conditions. So the animals which are found in desert are adopted to these conditions. They are also able to live with very little water because very little rain falls in the desert. Even the animals found in desert should be able to live with very little water because hardly there will be rain in desert. 
the camel has thick skin so which protects it from the hot sun and cold so camel is one animal that is found in desert it has got a very thick skin so that it can protect from the hot sun as well as from cold fat is stored in its hump it uses this fat and can survive without food or water for days the fat present in the back of the camel which is called as hump will be utilized by the camel to survive without food and water for many days you can check this uh, in this picture so you can see the picture of camel here it has got a hump here in this particular hump it is storing fat the fat present in the hump will be utilized by the camel to get energy as well as water did you know a large camel can drink more than 100 liters nearly 500 glasses of water in one go at once it can drink nearly 100 liters of water that's amazing it can go without drinking water for many days or even weeks so it can survive without drinking water for many days sometimes even many weeks also you can see in this picture polar bear so they have thick coat to keep warm themselves warm thick coat they have even a thick layer of fat huddle means to stand close together especially followed by some variety of penguin to protect themselves from cold they all in a group they stand together some parts of the world become cold in winter so some part of the world become cold in winter animals such as some lizards snakes and rats cannot bear the cold animals like lizard snakes and rat they cannot bear cold during the summer they eat as much as they can and store fat during summer time they eat as much food they can eat and they store fat in their body then during the winter they sleep in caves or burrows in the ground and use of the extra fat so this behavior is called hibernation so these animals lizard certain variety of snakes and rat they can't bear cold so what they do in summer when they get food they eat as much they can and they store fat in their body and especially during winter they sleep in caves or burrows in the ground and whatever fat they have in their body which is called as extra fat so that will be utilized in this period mainly in the winter time so they just sleep in caves or burrows burrows means small holes in the ground in them they take rest and they will be utilizing the fat stored in their body to get energy so this behavior taking rest during winter by certain animals it is called hibernation so you can see here like a animal called badger one animal called badger one mongoose like animal called badger it is hibernating so it is actually taking rest in winter this process is called as hibernation so taking rest in winter mainly to get protected mainly to get protection from cold so a badger is actually sleeping in a burrow